Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Tyler, and this is Scorpio Oxman Channel. So, uh, a huge celebrity birthday again this, uh, this upcoming weekend on Saturday, May the 16th. It's uh, Megan Fox. And Megan Fox, she is turning 34, uh, 34 years old this Saturday. I decided to do this video a couple of days early. And uh, so I'm going to show you today the authenticity of her, both her Austerian astrology, and I'd like to show you a little bit of her Chinese astrology as well. And she's at, uh, Megan Fox is, she's one celebrity who's fascinated by ast astrology too, and she's mentioned a lot about it uh, in her interviews of, with the talk shows that she went on. And I'm going to leave a link below of when she was on Jimmy Kimmel a few years back. She was on a Jimmy Kimmel show uh, where she mentions about it as well. And she mentioned about her moon sign being Leo. So that's, uh, and, and that's regarding the tropical zodiac. Now, in, in the true sidereal zodiac, regarding the real natural sky, it actually shows her moon to be right, right in between both Cancer and Leo. So she's actually a blend of both. So, and I'll show you that. So here, so here's her date of birth on uh, May the 16th, 1986 at 12.35 a.m. after midnight. So that's basically right at the beginning of the day. And the uh, Rockwood, Tennessee, Rockwood, Tennessee. So here it is. Now, here's the uh, true sidereal chart showing the real natural sky from masteringthezodiac.com. So you could see May 16, 1986, 12.35 a.m., Rockwood, Tennessee. So here is, so her sun is in Taurus, as you could see right here. Her Venus is in Taurus as well. Now, here is her moon. So she mentioned in the tropical, her moon is in Leo. Here it's in Leo as well, but it's actually, when you look closely, you could see at this very time, her moon is literally the dead center between Leo and Cancer. So that actually makes her to be a blend of both. Athen Chimenti, Athen Chimenti, who's the host of Mastering the Zodiac, he mentions how if the moon is within three degrees of another sign, you actually have the blend of that other sign. So that's, uh, so th there's the blend of both energies of the both signs. Now, I wanna mention now regarding the nakshatras, the 27 nakshatras of the Vedic astrology. So in the Vedic astrology system, uh, they claim that her moon sign is Ashlesha, the star of Ashlesha or nakshatra of Ashlesha. Now, I'm here to tell you today uh, that that is not correct. Her moon is actually Pushya, which is the star before Ashlesha, okay? This is according to the real natural sky, Zodiac, which is shown right here by MasteringTheZodiac.com. So, and I'll prove it here. So her moon is right, this is her moon right in between Cancer and Leo. Now I'm going to get up the chart showing where the nakshatras are, the 27. Okay, uh, here they are right here, outlined. Okay, so here's the 27 stars or nakshatras outlined on the Mastering the Zodiac chart. So you see, you see the cursor right here, my cursor. So her moon is right in between Leo and Cancer. As you can see, that is nakshatra number eight which is Pushya. In Austerian astrology, which is the Greek version, the Greek name is Zeus, is, is Zeus. And Ashlesha is right here, number nine. But in the real uh, natural sky zodiac, which is this, her moon is really in Pushya. And you want to know something? It makes a lot more sense that her moon is Pushya. And I'll show you the proof why. And it's amazing what it says. Okay, and I will get up the info. Okay, so here is, here is the info. Okay, so here's austerianastrology.com. So just a reminder that 
Austerian astrology is the Greek version of Vedic astrology regarding the 27 nakshatras or stars. Okay, so here is the star of Pushya or Zeus, the, the Greek name being Zeus, uh, as uh, Jade Soul Luna calls, calls it. Okay, so here is the description. Uh, Pushya born like to, so Pushya or Zeus, uh, the natives of Zeus, they like to nourish, preserve, protect, replenish, multiply, and strengthen. This is considered to be one of the best palaces or nakshatras of all. Wow. That's, that says a lot about her too. Um, the natives born in this palace or star are intelligent, spiritual, and selfless. They attract wealth, uh, often up to the point of op opulence, and their karmic, and, and their, uh, they, sorry, they attract wealth as their karmic reward. Okay, so Pushya born people are self sufficient, deep thinkers, and philosophers. They care deeply about others and try to uplift the conditions of people, uh, of everybody around them. They work for the under, uh, they work for the underprivileged and they spread their knowledge through teaching. Sometimes the same streak can take the form of arrogance as one tends to think him superior from others. Uh, but still, to be born under this star is truly priceless. There you go. People of this constellation do well in fields of social service, medicine, and teaching. Uh, Pushya, indicates, uh, Pushya indicates a person who is religious, conventional, helpful, selfless, a caring, intelligent, and spiritual. They are usually, they are usually self-sufficient and wealthy but they enjoy community service. Uh, on a shadow side, they can be arrogant and superior towards those who do not share their high ideals. Okay, now I'm gonna show you another site. This is called The Real Seek, this, this website's called The Real Secrets of Vedic Astrology. So here is number eight, Pushya or Zeus. Now here's the description on this one. Now check out what it says right here. The star of Pushya is considered the best of the 27 stars. And I want to mention something briefly. Jade Sol Luna, according Jade Sol Luna of Austerian astrology, um, the Vedic system also claims, just like Megan Fox, just like Megan Fox, the Vedic system claims that his moon is also Ashlesha, but in the natural sky zodiac shown by masteringthezodiac.com, it shows it to be Pushya. And I, he's pretty powerful, Jade, Jade Soul Luna. He's pretty powerful, like Megan Fox. So this is pretty accurate, uh, this info. And I wanna show you, so specifically, um, her, so Megan Fox's moon is in the third, the third quarter of Pushya, which is called the third pada. So I'm going to show you the description of those who have a moon in the third pada of Pushya. So here's the info of Pushya right here on this site. So uh, here it is right here. So those who have a moon in the third pada or quarter of Pushya. Uh, so the moon in the third pada. These people are happy, knowledgeable, devoted, of spiritual wisdom, respected. They are liked by wise men. They are liked by wise men and they are giving towards others. That describes Megan Fox to a T. Okay, so I'm going to show you briefly Megan Fox's Chinese astrology. So here is on this site, uh, the masterside.com. So here, here she is, May the 16th of 1986. Day of the Metal Monkey. She's Year of Tiger, Month of Snake, but day, the energy of the day is supposedly the strongest of ours. So she's Day of the Metal Monkey, as shown right here. And uh, Brian, this is Brian Austin Green's, uh, her, her partner's uh, of one as well. He's Day of the Rat. And the monkey and the rat, the monkey energy with the rat energy is very compatible. So that shows, that, that shows proof right there. 
So I will show you, here's another website that shows and describes the characteristics of the metal monkey. So there's 60, there's 60 signs of the Chinese zodiac. Uh, the 12 zodiac signs, there's five different types of each of them. So 12 times five, that equals 60, 60 overall. What it says about the metal monkey, it does not say the same for the 59 other signs. So here it is right here. So those born on the day of the metal monkey, what their personality is like or their characteristics. The metal monkey is a very strong-willed person. They will always stand their ground when they feel they are, they are in the right. They are determined to succeed in everything they do. They will apply themselves 100% to make sure that they achieve their goals. They are ambitious, wise, and confident people and are not afraid to work hard, which will help to get them extremely far in life. Okay. And so the metal monkey will do very well in financial situations throughout their life, and they will usually choose their investments well. The metal monkey takes a lot of satis the metal monkey takes a lot of satisfaction in attending parties and social gatherings with friends and loved ones. And I imagine that includes Hollywood red carpets as well. So thanks again for watching, guys. All the best and God bless.